Anthony and I made an executive decision during the break. See, we had planned on talking about, uh, I'm not even going to name the outlet. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give them the thing that they so clearly want, which is attention. Uh, there's an outlet that did a quarterback rankings that had Sam Howell 30th behind, amongst others, Desmond Ritter, Justin Fields. Mac Jones was like 21st. Just an absolute joke of rankings if you're remotely paying attention to the NFL this season. Obviously, we're all going to be higher on Hal here in Washington because we watch him every week and we see the promise and, you know, we might not watch as much of some of the other NFL, but Anthony and I, we watch enough. We watch enough for the uh, the rest of the league to know that Mac Jones has been poopy. To know that, by the way, that's another drop that we should definitely get. We need to find uh, the, J- the Jamie Tart poopy. Oh, while we're talking about drops. Yeah. The airplane guy yeah. is in today's folder. So you can But is Oh, it, you is need me to put I, it in. I need okay. it in I need gotcha. it in wide orbit. Gotcha. I need so people can see. It Whoa! I'm giving a real behind the scenes here on YouTube. That I need it on that board, right? There. Yep. Your little gadgets. Yeah, I got I got my buttons. Let's get me all settled back in here. Hey now. We need we need that guy to be able to scream. Uh but anyway, the point is um we need we need the Jamie Tart from Ted Lasso. Poop. Uh somewhere. Maybe he can replace JD McKissick. Do we is is it time to retire JD McKissick? Oh. Uh, he, almost he almost pooed it on himself. Dang. The fact I I mean, I didn't even know you were about to play it, but you know, we sort of signed it. You kinda of did like, there. Yeah. You really I think if you're that good at the impression, we don't even need the bite. We just yeah. hey Anthony, uh, we need we need it. He almost pooed it on himself. He almost pooed it on himself. He almost put it on himself. He says, JD says his self, though. Oh, he his. almost put it on himself. He almost put it on himself. Yeah, we All can right. just retire. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to need some button space. Also, we definitely can retire this one. Yeah, because we don't care about Dan and his boat gone. anymore. Yeah. He's gone. So we can definitely retire that one. Okay, so we got we got room for uh we got room for poop and for uh, the airplane screaming man. Anyway, uh, we. Decided that these people that just want attention for their crappy rankings are not going to get it. And instead, we're going to do our own quarterback rankings. Yeah! Screw them. Yep, let's and get it, baby. Stupid rankings. <laughs> All right, uh, Anthony, are we going to. I think we should go consensus rankings, and we're going to have to move very, very quickly because our goal is to rank. Uh, Let's just say all 32 quarterbacks starting because uh, they, they went to like 35 and there's guys that have played whatever, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to go the current 32 starters. Okay. And we're going to try to rank them as fast as we can. That's a bet. All right. Uh, to help us, I'm going to pull up the NFL league standings because I assume that uh, that's going to be helpful to have us remember. Although I guess I could pull up like passing yards and stats stuff too. Um, anyway, the point is that Patrick Mahomes is first. <laughs> He's still number one. Yes, this season, all right, sure. If you want to make if you want to make an argument that like Josh Allen and what he's done the last couple of weeks is is worth being number one, like I'm fine with that. But I'm I'm gonna try to combine what's okay. happened this season and like Past overall. History. Like yeah. I'm not putting Joe Burrow like Joe Burrow this season Stinks. is like thirtieth. Yeah, he's been trash. But I'm not putting Joe Burrow thirtieth. Yeah. So it's like a mix of okay. Of of all of the things. All right, so Mahomes one. Mahomes one. Allen, Allen two. two. Yeah. Okay. Three. Three gets tough. Three gets tough because that's where Burrow belongs, but I don't think you can put Burrow there nope. based off what he's done this season. Nope. Um, and how much do you want to wait this season, based or you know versus what we know these guys to be? Because if you want to do it based off this season, I think two is next. Oh, you're going to a. That would be that, but that's only if you base it off this season. To be but then honest, again, as you start looking at the list, man, I like, would go I Herbert. Herbert. I would go Herbert's right three. there. He was be the next guy because, like, there really aren't that many guys. I've, I've got it now. Uh, rankings by QBR. And by the way, you want to know who leads the league in QBR? QBR Tua. Brock freaking Purdy. Wow. I mean, that doesn't surprise me actually, though. Brock Purdy is averaging nine point one an attempt. 254 a game, five touchdowns, no picks on the year. He's only taken seven sacks. He's got an 84.6 QBR. Ridiculous. Wow. Ridiculous. 
Um, Brock Purdy's got more passing yards than Sam Howell. That doesn't surprise me either. Yeah. There's like four, I mean, five, Debo, six guys. You got Chris McCaffrey. You got that... six guys over 1,000. Oh, no, you got a couple more that are down the list. Anyway, the point is, uh, I think I would put, I'm okay with Herbert in our little rankings here. Herbert, okay. then Tua. Tua, I can't drop Burrow any, any lower than that. Purdy. No. Too high? Way too high. Because, like, there's a lot of quarterbacks that if you put them in San Fran, like, I think Purdy's going to distinctly be in the top half of this list. Okay. But I can't I can't put him top five or even okay. top ten. I would be more willing to put Hurts over Burrow. Burrow has been that bad. I, I'm okay with that. Burrow has been that bad. So in our makeshift, we're doing this quickly, but we're still going to do a better job than the fools who want attention. We've got – are you writing this down somewhere? Yep, we got Mahomes okay. 1, Allen 2, Herbert 3, Tua 4, Hurts 5, Burrow 6. Burrow 6. Okay, now I think Lamar's next. Yep. Um, and then I think we're kind of in the next tier, guys. Um, yep. Now we get to kind of the Trevor Lawrence question. Not very good so far this year. No. Has a – 48.9 QBR from reading my columns correctly? Yeah. 48, or no, is he the next one down? He's there. That's 46.1. No, 48.9. All the way across. Yeah. I, I'm Good. just letting you know, Craig, I'm not putting Lawrence over Purdy. Well, then we're going to have to fight. Craig, a lot of his success was what they did at the end of the season where they went on this crazy run, end up making the playoffs. He's Trevor this- Lawrence, man. Yeah, but what, have we not seen what Purdy's done, Craig? Yeah, he's thrown the ball to Debo and McCaffrey and let them work. Like, he's super accurate. Are you going down, to and... downplay what Trevor Lawrence also has in Jacksonville? But, like, he's the guy that makes it go. Purdy's not. Like, Jimmy was really good in San Francisco. And I think if you put Darnold in, like, it's not going to be as good, but it wouldn't be bad. Like, he is, Purdy is in the most insulated, and, like, it's not his fault. And maybe we will, cut. this will, you know, be on a NFL Films documentary in 30 years when Brock Purdy's the next Brady and has and is, <laughs> got eight Super Bowl rings. But, but, like, what Purdy actually is asked to do is less than every other quarterback in the league. So if I'm doing a quarterback rankings which implies some level of interchangeability. Would I trade one for the other? I'm not putting Purdy above Trevor Lawrence or Lamar or... Oh, no, I didn't say Lamar. Even like a Dak, a Jared Goff right now. Well, what Dak has to do in Dallas isn't that much. But he's doing a lot. They, I mean, outside of the one Cardinals game, like... You have to factor in talent, man. Okay, that's fair. Like, that's just... That's this is how you wind up with silly quarterback rankings. <laughs> I feel like I just want to put Purdy at like 13th and I'll figure out the rest around him. Like right. that will make me happy. All right, so eight, you're it seems We're as though eight? you're lean yeah, because Lamar is seven. It seems as though you're leaning Lawrence. Uh if we're gonna go based off this year, I'll put Dak ahead of Lawrence, even what about though I don't Stafford? believe that like the first second. Stafford I will put Stafford ahead of Dak. Would you? He's not got. He doesn't have a better he d- QBR on the year. He doesn't have a lot of talent around him either, though. Greg. Yeah, he has made Nakua and, look, and he does lead the NFL in passing yards. Exactly. All right, we'll put Stafford. We'll put Stafford there. All right. Got, he's second in the league. Uh, sorry to Tua. Um, but then, he also has three. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Three touchdowns, five picks. No. 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 I mean, he's you can't getting be, them you can't, down you can't the field. Be, They're running the ball, and Kyron Williams is right. So killing. how's that? How's that helping him in the quarterback rankings? I mean, Dak Are we is learning? getting helped out, too. Sure. His run game, his defense, like, I don't know. I think Stafford is I'm being I'm starting to realize to this more. might be harder than we – like, it's still not as hard as they make it seem. Yeah. But this might be harder. And it also, like, it depends on what your scale is. Yeah. And I guess – okay, let's 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 clear more clearly define the scale. Okay? The scale is, would you trade – Current, like for the next five games, would you trade, forget contracts, would you trade player A for player B? Okay. Based off current form and what you think they could do. So based off of current form, 
Would you trade Lawrence for Dak? Like, if you have Lawrence and I offer you Dak, are you accepting the trade? No. Okay, then Lawrence is higher. You and said, it's just you it's for five. Have, if it's for five games. You said if I have Dak, I'm not I'm not trading for Lawrence. I don't want Lawrence. Oh, okay. Sorry, I miss I'm the the transaction got backwards in. So Dak is higher. Yeah. And you, you it's trades back after five games. Yep. But like for the next five games, you would take Dak. Yep. Okay. Who else are, would you take Stafford? Yep. Stafford over Dak. I'm taking Stafford. I would take Dak. Okay. My name's on the show. That's the tiebreaker. All right. But they're they're right there. Where does Goff fit into that? Ooh. He, I mean. Is he ahead of both of them? I'll probably lean Lawrence, then Goff. Lawrence, Goff? I'm okay yeah. with that. I'm okay with that. Um, there's enough of a track record for me for Lawrence. Um, and that gets us to what number? What are we at? We're at number 12. Goff is number 11. And Goff. I'm thinking Kirk. Yeah. Kirk, and then Purdy. See, I told you, Purdy's going to wind up 13th. Okay. The, you you wouldn't want per, Purdy over Kirk? Not. If you give me Kirk in San Francisco? Oh, because he's process-oriented. He got you. Dude, Kyle's <laughs> wanted Kirk for <laughs> yeah, years. he would. Kyle would make that trade tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, 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 Brock, thanks. You've never lost a game. Give me Kirk. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that's that's the correct order. Um. And then Gino? Yeah, probably. Whew. Write probably. him back, Craig. Write him back. I know. I, I'd probably say Gino. I think that's probably smart. And then are we then we're kind of getting into the this Baker. This is where it really gets difficult. Sam Howe, CJ Stroud. Anthony Richardson. Richardson. Like that's kind of the next tier of guys. Love. Jordan Love, I think, is in there too. And look at us. We couldn't do this in five minutes. No. Shocking. We'll finish our... Where, where are we at? We're at 13? We're at 15 now. We're at 15. Oh, so we got halfway through. Yeah. All right. So we'll do the second half of our rankings next in the Hoffman Show on the Team 980. Always live as well on the free Odyssey app. It's the Hoffman Show on the Team 980. Always live as well on the free Odyssey app. Also, important update. We are now armed and dangerous. <laughs> you are too quick with it. Yeah, I'm excited. I also kind of want to make like a TikTok reel, whatever, where it goes. I feel good. Da, na, 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 na. It kind of works. Oh, man. It's got to already exist. Somebody's had to have done that. Yeah, probably. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the quarterback rankings. Uh, so we did one through 15. Quickly, Anthony, can you recap one through 15 as we did our makeshift quarterback rankings? In uh, rebuttal and in protest of the terrible ones that uh, some outlet that we're not naming did. Okay, Mahomes one, Allen two, Herbert three, two or four. Hertz at number five, Joe Burrow number six, Lamar Jackson seven, Dak eight, Stafford number nine, Trevor Lawrence ten, uh, Jared Goff eleven, Kirk Cousins twelve, Brock Purdy thirteen, Geno Smith fourteen. And now we have 15. All right, now we get to number 15. And the premise that we finally decided on is we are very much doing this as we uh, are on the... We're we're building the the boat as we're rowing down the stream here. uh, Is for the next five games, would you trade player A for player B? If you would, player A is higher. If you would not, player B is higher. Whichever one you'd want for the next five games uh, based off their circumstances, based off whatever. um, Try to make it as quarterback-focused as possible and that pretty much covers the the criteria uh but it's a, it's a mix of what we think they are in total and their current form so that is our our criteria uh i think the next guy is it actually cj stroud it is craig it is i was so glad you were going to go there He's thrown for 1,200 yards already on the year. His completion percentage is low. That's what. That's a little bit of what gives me but guess pause. What, but he's avoided turnovers. He's six touchdowns and no picks. No picks, baby. No pick. And he's again. He's learning on the job. Yeah. Not a lot of you know talent down there, but he's making some stuff work. Nico Collins, Tank Dell. Offensive line is banged up. I don't even know if Laramie Tunsil's played had two a game d- yet. They've had two dudes. They replaced uh, Kenyon Green 
with Kendrick Green, and they're both hurt. Oh my God. K. Dot Green times two. Oh, for, who's the next K. Dot Green that can play left guard for the Texans? Wow. That's where they're at right now. And Laramie's still hurt too. Yeah. That's, so I think CJ Stroud's next. He's nasty. Yep. I like All right. It. So Let's Stroud see. at 15. If we're doing this on current form, man, is Baker next, or would you take would you take Sam over Baker? I might take Sam over Baker. Uh, Other contenders to me would be Richardson and Love. Richardson and Love. Those and are the me, other two guys. I mean, Richardson's accuracy like worries me. Love, he can be hit or miss. How we know who he is, he just holds onto the ball a little too long. I would probably lean. I think I would lean love. I think I would lean love. Um, just he's eight him. touchdowns to three picks. He does have the lowest completion percentage, basically of any starter in the league Good that's gracious. played regular snaps. Yeah, the only guy that's lower with multiple starts is Dorian Thompson Robinson. Ugh. Love is fifty six point one percent completion percentage. He had that one really really bad completion yeah, that's percentage what it game was. against Atlanta. Um, but then again, like Sam had that game against Buffalo, kind of. I mean, a different version of it. But last week, you know, let's see. Last week, he was 23 of 36. Uh, he's 22 of 44 against, that was in New Orleans. He had 14 of 25, 15 of 27. Now that's kind of who he's been. I, I don't disagree, though. I feel like he's just played well, played under control. He hasn't turned it over. I'm okay with Jordan Love going next. Jordan Love at 16. Yeah. And then you're down to Sam Baker and AR. And AR. I love AR. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna lie, I love AR AR. I'm not I'm not mad about it. And then I will probably lean how and, and then Baker. Baker. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. So that gets us to what are we at? 18, 19? Yep, 18, 19. Yeah. Baker's 19. So if we're now doing this off of the next couple of games here, I think Josh Dobbs has to be in the conversation. Thank I don't think you. Jo- I don't think Josh Dobbs is good at all, but he's also not bad. Mm-hmm. And for the point of this conversation, a guy with a 70% completion percentage and four touchdowns to no picks is worthy of being mentioned here. He's only throwing for 203 yards a game. He's only got 814 passing yards on the year. He's not throwing the ball downfield at all. His yards per attempt is really, really bad. He's 6.6. It's bottom third of the league. But, you know, Trevor Lawrence is worse, Is actually right there. He's also done a lot more with it. Uh, he's got 943 yards uh, in four starts compared to the 814 that Dobbs has, averaging over 30 yards more passing a game. But it is what it is. I think Dobbs is the next guy based off this season. Yeah, I would probably lean, if not Dobbs, then Watson. Or Garoppolo. Yeah, we're getting to that that tier. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but I've liked what I've seen out of uh, Dobbs. And he's played against some tough defenses, though, Craig. And he, he has. Dallas. He had the Commanders. Giants defense thought it was going to be good. Not really. Um, but, yeah, he's played against some tough defenses, and he fared, he, he fared okay. Um, so, I, I like Dobbs here. I like Dobbs. So far this season, Dobbs, if we're being, if we're being honest, though, next five games – I'd probably put Watson out of him. And that takes a lot coming from me because I hate Deshaun Watson. Yeah. But I'm trying to be accurate. So I'll leave that in your hands. Who does the... The uh... the Dobbs-Watson decision is is on you. I'll probably go D-Watt first, then Dobbs. Okay. And then after that, Garoppolo. Yep. I think is the next guy. I think the easy one after that is probably Russ. And then we enter like... The yikes tier. The really, really. Then we tier. enter the not good yet because they're young and have no help slash is this guy cooked tier. And you also know we got Tannehill on the on the board Yeah, he's, as well. he's the guy that I'm talking about of like, yeah. is this guy cooked? Yeah. yeah. Of that group, the guy, I can't believe I'm saying this and this might get me laughed at, but the guy that I would probably trust for the next five games the most is Daniel Jones. Oh, because Saquon is coming back? Saquon's coming back. I still don't think, like, was last year a bit of a fluke? Maybe, but it wasn't this much of a fluke. There's no way he's this bad. 
He's also completing 68.7% of his passes. They're not going anywhere. He's averaging like no yards per he's averaging uh is that the yards per game? Yeah, 191 yards per game. Yeah. I'm so far down in the column that I had to scroll back up to see what column I was even looking at. He's averaging 190 yards per game, but he is completing 68% of his passes, and there's no way that he's going to be two touchdowns to six interceptions uh, in the next five like he was the first four. Yeah, a lot of his completions, though, are like check downs, curls, you know, hitting the running back. It's nothing really. But we're anything. picking from the bottom of the barrel yeah. here, bro. <sighs> Daniel Jones just bothers me. Uh, okay, I, I mean, nominate someone else. Derek Carr? I'm okay putting Derek Carr ahead of Daniel Jones. This really is ugly, Craig. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I will go Derek Carr. Zach Wilson? No. Justin well, if he, Fields? If he plays like he did the other night, Zach could be up Zach, there. But Zach looked all right the other night, but I'll, God, he's been so bad. I'll go Derek Carr. Okay, I'm okay then, with Derek Carr. And then um, Daniel Jones. Uh, over 10? Yeah, over over 10 AO2. Okay, this then I think we're getting to... And honestly, if you wanted to put Fields in there, I'm okay with Fields. Uh, maybe, maybe... I think Carr's the correct next guy. Yep. And then and then after that, if you want to go Wilson, Jones, Fields, Tannehill, I'm good with any of them. All right, so I got Carr, Daniel Jones, Tannehill. Fields? Actually, no. I'm going to go Wilson after Jones. Then... Tannehill, Tannehill and then, then Fields. Fields. Yeah. Okay. So we're and then, and then we're, now. And then we're down to there were four. Mac Jones. Yep. Bryce Young. Yep. Desmond Ritter. Yep. And Kenny Pickett. And Kenny Pickett. Yikes, bro. And I really don't even blame Honestly, Pickett, to be honest. Let's go reverse order. Who's the worst? I think it's Ritter. Yeah, Ritter. Undoubtedly. Then. Bryce, I mean Bryce is in such a bad spot. I don't like that. Doesn't this is not reflective of what I think Bryce Young will be as a pro? Mm-hmm. But I think right now, uh, Pickett or Bryce? Oh, Ritter's already last. My bad. He's Ritter's last. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bryce could be thirty-one, and then Pickett's thirty, and then who's twenty-nine? Mac. Yeah, Mac. I mean, maybe Pickett over Mac. Who cares? Uh, yeah, yeah. At that point, who, who hey, does put, put care? one of them one and one of them the other? Yeah, one A, one B. Yeah, twenty eight A, twenty eight B. Which leaves our rankings at Anthony from top to bottom. We got Mahomes as the best in the league. Josh Allen two, Herbert three, two or four. Hertz five, Joe Burrow six, Lamar Jackson seven, Dak eight, Stafford nine, Trevor Lawrence ten, Jared Goff eleven, Kirk Cousins twelve, Josh I mean Brock Purdy. 13, Geno Smith, 14, CJ Trout, 15, 16, Jordan Love. Then you got Anthony Richardson at 17. Sam Howe comes in at the lovely number 18. Baker Mayfield, number 19. Deshaun Watson, 20. Josh Dobbs, 21. Jimmy Garoppolo, 22. Russell Wilson, 23. Derek Carr, 24. Daniel Jones, 25. Zach Wilson coming in at 26. Ryan Tannehill, 27. Um, Fields, what is his first name? Justin. Justin. He's the quarterback they're playing this week. I mean, you're also reading a lot of names, bro. Yeah, yeah. Justin Fields, 28. Mac Jones, 29. Kenny Pickett, 30. Bryce Young, 31. And the worst so far through five, four games, I guess, Desmond Ritter. All right. Those are our rankings. Uh, I think they're better than the other team. Uh, Substantially the other- better. Yeah. I Honestly, they're so good. Can you email me that? I yeah. might make a graphic out of it. I got you. Uh, I don't know how good the graphic is going to be, but we're going to make a graphic out of it, and then and then I'm going to put it out on on Twitter and be like, "This is better than those other rankings." Take that. Yeah. Take that. What right. he said. It's the Hoffman Show. We're on the Team 980. We're always live as well on the free Odyssey app. And when we get back, it is time for real things, real people said into real microphones, which will include something that we've wanted to play. For three days. Hey, this is DA, and you're listening to The Hoffman Show on the Team 980 and the Odyssey app.